Hello everyone, you're on the Another Space Channel. Although few people consider it, the cosmos is actually not silent. Never before have researchers caught a variety of odd signals coming from the depths of space. Some of them have already revealed their nature to us, while others are still a mystery. NASA continuously monitors space, recording all signals with an unknown source. The most important thing is that they pose no risk to our world. It should be mentioned that NASA places a strong emphasis on those signals in its observations, which theoretically may originate from other worlds or other civilizations. We'll discuss the signal that reached us from the galaxy, which is 9 billion light years away in this video. What kind of discovery is this exactly? What does it mean to us? Signals arriving from space are found using specialized radio telescopes. These instruments are incapable of emitting even the slightest sounds. They are simply essential for us. Without them, it would be impossible to collect all the signals from space and determine their nature. With the aid of modern technology, it is now feasible to continuously monitor frequencies and various alterations compare them to noise that has previously been recorded, and compile the results into a single database of space signals. It is important to note that the majority of signals have known sources. They frequently come from recognized regions of space, and we understand their origins. Yet we occasionally encounter signals that are challenging to interpret. Their nature is often revealed over time. Occasionally, though infrequently, we receive signals that could be technosignatures or technomarks. These are frequencies that suggest technological activity. The most distant space signals identified so far were discovered in January 2023 by researchers from Canada and India. This particular signal represents uncharged atomic hydrogen, not just any signal. As many know, hydrogen serves as a cosmic building block and is a vital element for the cosmos. This hydrogen signal, being the furthest detected thus far, will inform us about the universe 8.8 .8 billion years ago. Such a length of time has passed between the signal's origin and its detection by the India-based giant meter wave radio telescope. This discovery is unique because these signals usually have much shorter durations when received. The gravitational lensing effect played a significant role in detecting this kind of signal. It enables us to determine which objects in space are more distant than others. As they move further away, their apparent shape changes. The signal, which is over 9 billion years old, underwent this phenomenon. Its strength was notably enhanced as a result. This evidence suggests that gravitational lensing can influence both light and radio waves. The importance of such a discovery is highlighted by Canadian scientist Arnab Chakraborty, who played a role in detecting the farthest radio signal. There are numerous radio signals within the galaxy. Until now, our capability to detect a signal from a galaxy much closer has significantly limited our comprehension. We can now assert that radio waves are influenced by the gravitational lensing effect. This means that by being able to probe the farthest corners of the universe, we can substantially enhance our research. It's a given that this process is time-intensive. Signals don't reach us within a day or even a year. 
Moreover, the researchers determined that the signal originated from the galaxy SDSSS J0826 plus 5630. It was produced there 4.9 billion years ago, at a time when the universe was still relatively young. The pivotal question is whether any intelligent beings in the SDSSJ 0826 plus 5630 galaxy might have generated such a signal, or if it had a natural origin. Not every signal from neighboring galaxies or distant space regions reaches Earth. They simply vanish into the vastness of the universe. When a signal does make its way to Earth, it often comes from a powerful source. A supernova or pulsar explosion is one such example. In 2019, a notable event occurred. A signal from Proxima Centauri, the star closest to our Sun, was captured by Australia's Parkes Observatory. Notably, a specific program was used to record the signal, aiming to identify signals of artificial origin. Yet it couldn't immediately determine the signal's source. The extended processing phase filled with many tests and filters is standard. To ensure the data's accuracy and to rule out errors, this is essential. The signal was then dubbed BLC-1. The British daily The Guardian highlighted it in December 2012. Additionally, since the verification phase wasn't finalized, the report was premature. The publication described the signal as a techno-signature, implying the existence of extraterrestrial civilizations. It was deemed necessary to recapture the signal to validate the claim. This, however, didn't occur. A year later, applying the Copernican principle, researchers deduced that BLC-1 isn't a sign of extraterrestrial intelligent life. Currently, what's the status with potential extraterrestrial signals? Eight more signals, possibly from an extraterrestrial civilization, have been detected, as the means to do so have expanded. Recorded signals have undergone more detailed scrutiny, especially since artificial intelligence is now extensively applied. Consequently, it was found that all eight signals bear what are termed techno-signatures, this suggests that the signal's origin might be extraterrestrial, separate from any known sources. This assertion is considered reliable since innovative techniques were employed this time to differentiate the signals from interference and ambient noise. Such precautions were necessary to avoid the mix-up encountered with BLC-1. In the analysis of these eight puzzling signals, 150 terabytes of data were processed. It was observed that the signal's frequency width is quite narrow, a characteristic feature of techno-signatures. However, one aspect challenges the idea that these signals were created using extraterrestrial technologies. These signals were distinct, none being repeated. If crafted by extraterrestrial technology, the transmissions wouldn't just be a singular signal. Chances are, it would be a sort of coded communication consisting of multiple identical signals. As we only deal with singular signals at the moment, it's challenging to fully assess them and pinpoint their precise origins. And again, there are numerous unresolved queries. In the future, signals arriving from distant galaxies will grant us insights into parts of space our research vehicles have yet to touch. Once we begin delving into the enigma of space signals from unknown sources, the complexity of this space science domain quickly becomes evident. The storyline alone could fill 12 sci-fi novels. While most currently detected signals are of natural origin, many cling to the hope of someday intercepting a signal from an extraterrestrial entity. Maybe we should, or maybe we shouldn't. Perhaps initiating contact with alien life isn't why. After all, history has shown that first encounters between different civilizations on Earth often led to misunderstandings and conflicts. The vast differences in cultures, technologies, and intentions could be even more pronounced between interstellar species. Moreover, we must consider the potential risks and consequences of revealing our existence and location in the vast cosmos. It's crucial to approach this frontier with caution, ensuring humanity's safety and preserving the delicate balance of our universe.